Welcome to this Jerry Anderson themed countdown video. I'm your host AC and today we're going to be counting down the top 10 international rescue pod vehicles. For the purposes of this list, we're going to be focusing on all those weird and wacky vehicles deployed by Thunderbird 2. And just before any of you ask, we will be excluding Thunderbird 4 and 6. So who's going to come out on top? There's only one way to find out. Virgil, drop that pod. Number 10. The Monobrake. Used in the episode The Perils of Penelope, this low-slung red vehicle is used to transport Virgil and Gordon Tracy along the Anderbad Tunnel in search of the kidnapped Lady Penelope. Unfortunately, we never really get to see a chance of what this vehicle is supposed to do in the course of the episode. According to International Rescue Technical Manuals, the vehicle is designed to clamp onto a monorail track and transport the rescuers at high speed using a jet engine. It's just a shame we never got to see this on screen. Number 9. The Jet Air Transporter Although this curious looking vehicle was never officially named on screen, its name comes from spin-off merchandise. Although small, this vehicle is capable of producing highly concentrated streams of air to catch people falling from heights, as demonstrated in the episode Move and You're Dead, in which Virgil deploys the vehicle to rescue Alan Tracy and Grandma. Number 8. The Booster Mortar Also known as the Thunderizer, this small track vehicle is designed to fire rescue equipment to those in difficult to reach places. One example of this is seen in the episode Edge of Impact, where two engineers are trapped at the top of a tower threatening to collapse. Alan uses the booster mortar to fire a rescue capsule into the control tower. Upon arrival, the capsule splits into two parts, each containing a low altitude escape harness, enabling the two engineers to escape unharmed. Number 7. The Transmitter Truck This vehicle appeared in the episode Sun Probe in the freezing wastes of Mount Arkin. It is essentially a giant satellite dish attached to a commercially available tractor body. Adapted by brains, the satellite dish is capable of transmitting a fantastically powerful signal beam. This proved invaluable during the rescue of the Sun Probe rocket, when Thunderbird 3's retros failed and had to be switched off by remote using the transmitter truck. Capable of withstanding extreme cold and remote locations, the transmitter truck proved to be a formidable vehicle. Just make sure you remember to bring the right box. Number 6. The Recovery Vehicles These powerful looking machines were used to haul the Sidewinder out of a flaming inferno in the episode Pit of Peril. Each vehicle utilizes powerful magnetic clamps on the end of extending cables that can be fired onto their target, and impressive traction control means that the vehicles are able to haul their targets free. Recovery vehicle number one is manned, usually piloted by Virgil Tracy. Recovery vehicle number two is automated and controlled from the first vehicle. The Sidewinder is said to weigh over 500 tons, but the recovery vehicles manage to haul it out of the pit with ease. Number five. The Drilling and Crushing Excavator The Drilling and Crushing Excavator, used in the episode Martian Invasion, is another adaptation of a commercially available vehicle. Deployed in the desert to save a pair of actors from a disastrous rockfall, the excavator makes its way to the side of a cliff where it deploys its crushing blade and drill apparatus. After tunneling its way through a considerable amount of rock, the excavator eventually hits water, which is then pumped through the machine and ejected through the jets at the back of the vehicle allowing the flooded cave in which the actors are trapped to be drained and the actors released before it's too late. Though I always thought Virgil looked a little too happy in this sequence, especially for someone who's dealing with a life and death situation. Number 4. Elevator Cars The first pod vehicles in the history of Thunderbirds to be used by International Rescue. The elevator cars appear in the pilot episode, Trapped in the Sky. Four of these vehicles are seen throughout the episode, a master elevator car and three radio control subsidiaries. Although how they all fit into one pod is still something of a mystery, there's no denying that watching the elevator cars in action is still a major highlight of the entire series. I suspect Brains had his work cut out changing some tires after this rescue. Number 3. Restraining Unit also known as the DOMO, or Demolition Object Moving Operator, is a similar vehicle to the Excavator, both based on the same commercially available chassis. 
The restraining unit uses three high-intensity suction cups to support structures and prevent dangerously crumbling walls from falling in on the rescue area. Used to great effect during the Duchess assignment, Scott is able to use the restraining equipment to prevent a wall from falling in on a raging inferno that has trapped the Duchess of Royston in the basement level of a country house, allowing Virgil to effect a rescue. Number 2. Firefly International Rescue's primary firefighting appliance, this bulldozer-fire engine combo, is capable of extinguishing even the most difficult of fires. Making use of both a high-pressure water turret and an immensely powerful demolition cannon, the Firefly is equipped to tackle almost any kind of blaze. The Firefly is composed of a totally heat-resistant metal, specially developed by brains. In addition to extinguishing fires, the Firefly's cannon can also be used to demolish rubble in the vehicle's path, which proved very useful when Virgil used the Firefly to clear a pathway through the burning mass of rubble in the City of Fire. Whew, that's hot! And before we reach number one, here are some honorable mentions. Number 1. The Mole. The Mole is International Rescue's flagship pod vehicle. Instantly recognizable, this huge drilling machine has been used on three separate occasions during the course of the series. The combination of a high-density metal drill bit and a powerful jet engine make the Mole a force to be reckoned with. Whether it's drilling into a flaming pit in Pit of Peril, drilling into some flaming rubble in City of Fire, or drilling into a flaming building in the Duchess assignment, it's pretty obvious that the Mole has no issues with drilling or with fire. And that's it for our list. Did you agree with our choices? Oh, we weren't arguing, sir. No, we, we were just discussing it. Finally. Which International Rescue pod vehicles are your favorites? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in the next video. F.A.B.